low. Members of the human race. Dispersed across this planet you call Earth. Come gather round. And listen as I speak to you. Of the secret ancient science. Of racial alchemy. Known in this day and time. As eugenics, or genetic engineering. Squaring the circle. The four major stages of the alchemical process. Known as the great work, or magnum opus. Used by the alchemists or blacksmiths in ancient times. Where the goal is to create the philosopher's stone. Also known as the elixir of life. A process which turns base metals into gold. There are four major alchemical stages. Black, red, yellow, and white. Each of which represent a different process. Each of which represent a different energy. Each of which represent a different element. Each of which represent a different race. No one is colored black. No one is colored red. No one is colored yellow. No one is colored white. No one wins the race in racism. And since no one is colored black, red, yellow or white. Anyone, can be said to represent black, red, yellow or white. Depending on the blacksmith, or alchemist, who is doing the casting. The word cast which is used to separate people based on race. Is same as the word cast which the blacksmith uses to mold metal. Iron is a base metal, and it is also found in your blood. Gold is a noble metal, and is also found in the human body. In ancient Egypt, the word for gold was nub, as in Nubian. So the casting of metals by a blacksmith, and transforming base metals into gold by the alchemist, all occurs in the human body. As within, so without. The ancient Egyptians recognized four races. Nasi, the black people. Hamu, the brown people. Rud, the red people. And Tamahu, the white people. And the ancient Egyptians created four social castes. Nobles, priests, craftsmen, and farmers. And in later times in India. The progenitor of the Hindus named Manu. Who was a Yakub of his time. Created four social castes called Varnas based on colors. The white Varna Smriti was for the Brahmin priests. The red Varna Smriti was for the kings, governors, and soldiers. The yellow Varna Smriti was for the farmers, artisans, and merchants. And the black Varna Smriti was for the laborers and service providers. The white, red, and yellow Varnas were collectively called Aryan. Which later gave rise to the Nazi ideas of Aryan racial categories with a progression through genetic engineering and racial alchemy. From Aryan, to German, to Teutonic, to Ubermensch. And the process of casting based on race has spread around the world. In Australia eugenicists attempted to breed the black out of the aborigines, creating half-caste, quarter-caste, and full-caste races. They were Yakubs of their time, making alien human hybrids. It was done in South Africa creating colored, baster, Afrikaner, and Kafir racial castes. It was done in South America, creating Cholo, Zambo, Mestizo, and Pardo racial castes. It was done in North America, creating Mulatto, Quadroon, and Octoroon racial castes. It all was done to prevent the creation of the Philosopher's Stone, the elixir of life, bringing forth the God Gene. The progression from Negro, to Naga, to Nubian, to Netur. America is a melting pot, the crucible used by blacksmiths. To mix liquid metals prior to casting and forging. O oh sons of Ham, use your hammer, the Tubal came. As blacksmiths, racial alchemists, genetic engineers. Forge the metals of this earth. Bring forth the elixir of life, the philosopher's stone. The stone that the builder refused. Remember, you are the all, and all is you. Take heed, for within these words there is guidance sure without doubt. Until I speak with you again, travel safe on the journey within.